Johnny would occasionally be violent. He would trash his room. We had to um, put locks on our bedroom doors because we were afraid of him. At the time, there was nobody to help us. The introduction of a lot of synthetic marijuana products, we're seeing a lot more of this phenomenon of individuals developing mood disorders, developing psychotic features or, or psychotic disorders, or sometimes both. You have a mood disorder and psychosis that are induced by cannabis use and particularly high dose synthetics that are stronger than our traditional marijuana products because you've now changed the brain chemistry in a way that we don't quite understand. This is such a high risk for anybody whose brain is developing. And, and it's because of how the endocannabinoid system works. It's our mood regulation system, and it's all over the body, but highly in the brain. It really helps us manage life. We make our own chemicals in our brain for those receptors. We're very big on the development of the prefrontal cortex in adolescence, and we know that along with nicotine, THC has the most negative impact on development of the prefrontal cortex. If you flood the brain with THC, that fits into that receptor, and it really doesn't let your own natural endocannabinoid system work. The cannabis molecule itself, it's really what we call lipophilic, it loves fat. So when you smoke or vape, it goes straight to fatty tissue, so it's deposited in your brain. Unlike alcohol, where I can say, I'm gonna have this drink, and I can predict how long it will take your body to excrete it, it's not true with cannabis. And it may take weeks or months to wash out. <laughs> 